Hello guys and welcome to week one of the ULBL. I'm a bit ill at the moment, so my voice isn't great. We are facing Crafting and his Iowa Jolteons. <coughs> so as you can see, I've bought this team. Unfortunately, we have to use bad graphics at the moment due to my <coughs> new computer not being here. Right. <coughs> right, so we have to look who will he lead with. Bought the Charizard. That's yeah, he pretty much brought what I expected. Didn't bring the Brelly though, so I feel sort of bad about using the team now. Because that was my Brelly encounter. Uh, I think straight away I need Crocodile. It can't hurt, can it? <coughs> Unless he leads Charizard. These chores are that cause problems for me. Mm. So, yeah, I win this if I get rid of the Charizard. I think the Hallooch could be a problem. But other than that, I think I'm all good. I don't know what he could think, be thinking of. I think he might lead Clefty, which, if he gets screens up, could be bad. Might have forgotten an item. <coughs> yeah, so he needs the quest key. Yeah, so if he gets screens, it's really bad. So I need to go straight out into bronze on. Um, use flash cannon. Uh, I can block this now. Because he might try and set up screens. So we have the combustion in. Creates some problems. Uh, what do you want to do? How much am I doing to combust him? Sword stones. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, he does nothing. So yes, yeah, straight into Palkia. What did he use? Protect. Uh, what do I kill it with? I kill it with spatial. Yeah, I kill it with spatial end. So just go spatial end. Unless it swaps into. Uh, hmm. 
smartest player oh, I think he might go into if I click Earth Power. He hit the double protect, that's a nice noise. Spatial range to kill it. Because I doubt he'd go into He won't go into a fairy type now, surely. Knock the Charizard out. That's perfect. So from here I believe I just win the game. The Charizard was the main threat. Uh Bronzong. Earthquake. This is probably Z Coco. What did you call Nature's Madness? I dodged the Nature's Madness. It's really good. Coco used Volt Switch. She's probably going to go into the Lucha yet. So now I'm going to Toxic it. Just said it's in a bad position. Eventually the toxic will stab up because I think this only does 50 high jump kick only does 50% to me, so I should be fine. Hmm. This has gone well so far. That Charizard being gone is really good for me. Because now Palkia outspeeds everything on his team. Apart from the Does it outspeed Coco? I don't think it does. But then I've got a Coco counter in Crocodile Victini. Uh, did I? Oh, I'm pretty hurt. Uh, I need to get this toxic off. No, I'm dead. Um, I got into Wimp's Court. Tailwind. So Tailwind would probably be good here. Go for a moon blast. Probably go into Klefki. He should go into Klefki, yeah. So I'll go to Minto. I'll switch in my team. So, he probably thinks I'll recreate, so I should Zen her for that. There's no way he stays in. Unless he screams. If he gets the screams up, he could be. Oh, so yeah, I knocked out the Halucha. That's good. But yeah, I was good to stay in Zen Hip Hop. He outspeeds me, but he shouldn't kill me. Actually, he might kill me. 164. I won't outspeed him. Calc. Big team. Dance. He's Thunderbolt, he doesn't kill me. If he's Thunder, he probably kills me. So I should be good to just fire off another Zen headbutt. If he's Z-move, then we waste his Z-move. Oh, it's a life orb. <coughs> Who's he gonna go into here? I've got a feeling the Curum might be scarfed. 
if it is, that's problematic for me because I've thrown away my Tailwind users. Clefki, uh, you might think I'm locked into Zen Headbutt, so now I just go for Recreate. Knock out with Clefki. Yeah, nice and easy. See, I bluffed the choice. So he thought I was locked in sort of Zen Headbutt. Coco comes back out. Uh, how much do you do with his Volt Switch? 57. So I don't know if it's worth keeping the team in. I don't think I need the team anymore. So I think I just let it go down. Enough going to Lantern. It's probably a smart play. It's the Volt Absorb should kick in. So I'm assuming he just Volt Switch with Thunderbolt. <coughs> the spikes is probably going to be a bit annoying, but not too bad. It's like, for what, 15% for spikes? So I can manage with that. I have two turns left for Victoria if I decide to keep bring it back in. <laughs> this Q-Room Scarf, then he wins. And then he's a good player. I can't fault him for having Scarf to carry on. So outspeeds the Palkia. Coco's pretty weak now. I didn't use stuff rocks this game. I had it on my crocodile, but I don't think I need them that much anymore. Because we're drawing close to the end. Hopefully. So yeah, if he boosts it, oh no, it's a boost set. He can't hurt me though. So maybe I just icy win. I just use that power. I'm not using not to. He might protect, but that doesn't matter because Earth power guarantees me a kill on something. Unless he goes into the Q room. And then we need to check the Q room scarf. He brought Coco in, Coco dies. This probably needs to get the free switch into the fire. No. So I just click, uh, click spatial in there. I've got. I just keep clicking spatial in. Because if he switches, he dies to spatial in. Yeah, you see. So the Kurum's dead. So I've won this. 4-0. I'm pretty happy with myself. It's a nice, easy match for me. It wasn't too bad. 4-0 for the first week is really good. That puts me in a good position to go forward and reach playoffs. Um, so yeah, really good game. If you have... So... Next week I should have my new computer, so we will have animations on. Um, really good game, good job to crafting, being amazing and seeing it through. Um, this has been it for week one. Any suggestions, feel free to say sets that you want to see and things like that. Um, I will see you all next time. See ya!